E2 elimination mechanism, here we're looking at alkyl halides, and alkyl bromide in this case. We have the alkyl halide and a strong base hydroxide. So the strong base is going to remove a proton from one of the adjacent carbons. And it's always going to give you the more substituted alkene, which we'll see in the product. So it removes this hydrogen, the electrons stay, and form a double bond, kicking off the leaving group, which is the bromide. So we've removed a hydrogen here, its electrons have formed a new double bond, and carbon bromine bond is then broken, giving you bromide. If we remove from this side here, this carbon, then we get a more substituted alkene, which is always favored than the other, where we put the double bond here, and this removal is less favored.